as people, let's see, go to your left. Yeah, just get the code, open it up. Actually, you know what? Yeah, go ahead and do that. But but here's the deal. For those that are in the business of appointments, like it's always good to give out something of value for free. And that's what this book is, right? So that's super freaking, you did a great job on, on getting this PDF. That's where it starts. So now as people start to download it, they end up going to your thank you page. So let's open this up. Um. And we'll want to change that link at the top as well. The WGR556. Like we're going to, we got to get rid of that. That's ugly. So uh, we'll get, we'll customize that right now. But my point is, is that it all starts here, right? It all starts with that Facebook conversion ad. They come here, they click the button, they go to the thank you page. Put an opt in. Just let's just test it real quick again. Put in, just put in a, a, a random email. Send me the book now. Click there and then just, just go ahead and send me the book now change the email. Yeah. Put anything. Perfect. Send me the book now. Okay. So those are in the business of, of scheduling appointments. Now here's what I also want you to do. This blue, you want that to match the landing page blue or the other way around. If this is your color blue, then make the landing page look like that as well. You want it to be consistent with the color. Um, that's, that's number one, but number two, we're, for those that are in the business of, of appointments, this is, this is one chance that we have. To, to make a great impression, to tell them, introduce ourselves, tell them we just sent them the book and, and the four bullet points that I touch on, right? Thank them, introduce yourself, let them know that you just sent them the PDF via email. And then also number four, schedule an appointment. For those who don't schedule an appointment right here, because you're going to have a large percentage of people, let's just call it what it is. Out of every 10 people that land here, you may only have one to two people that actually schedule an appointment right now one to two people. So let's call it, let's call it, let's call it one. Let's call it one person. One person out of every 10 actually schedules an appointment. And those are not bad numbers. Those are freaking great because if you got freaking 30 people a day landing here and three people freaking schedule an appointment, bro, you have three appointments every damn day. Like you'll stay busy. Trust me. So you don't need yeah. a shitload of people to schedule an appointment on this page. But to answer your question regarding the emails, that's your second chance. So the first chance we have to get an appointment is to get them to, 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 to watch this video, schedule it here. The second chance that we have is those emails. So that's why a lot of times everyone wants to rush to run the ad when it's like, dude, nothing on the back end is done yet. So for example, those emails. Now, do you need all 10 of them written out now? No, not necessarily all 10, but at least you want a few because that's the emails, the automation, that's where those appointments are. Gonna, those other eight out of 10 people or the nine out of 10 people that did not schedule it here, that's your second chance to get them to schedule a call is on those emails. How long, how long after, the, after this, they will receive first email, let's say tomorrow. When did they, when they're going to receive second email? How so let's go they... into your emails. Let's go to Kartra and let's look at those emails. So, so what I'm saying is that the email sequence is the most important because that's wow. where your appointments are going to be coming from. So click on my communications to the left, my communications, and then hover over communications at the top. And then let's click yeah. on sequences. So the sequence that you have here, which one are the people who did not, Yes. Book a strategy call. Yes. Okay. That's, um, that's not, that's not the title of that. That's not the title of it. Let's rename that. Let's, let's rename that. Um, people who go into the sequence are people who download the book. That's why, you know, what I, the, 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 the list that I sent you over was 2021 TSRE book five steps. So name this one, people name this one, Book customers. This is book customers. Bottom line. These are people who download the damn book. Book customers. Like customers, you know, leads who downloaded the book. It's not people who did not book a call. So let, let's name the sequence correctly. Leads, nice. leads who downloaded ebook. Leads who downloaded ebook. Yeah, or or just book book leads, book customers, or ebook leads, or whatever you know. So so the public okay. description, that's what they see if they were to ever unsubscribe from you. So whenever you unsubscribe from anyone's email list, there's normally a description of what list that was. So that's not what I want the public to see. Right there, I would delete that. People who did not book, delete that. 
and just put thank you for downloading and then the title of the book. Thank you for downloading. Because again, if they ever go and unsubscribe, at least they'll know what list that was on. Because sometimes people get 13, 14, 15, 17 emails and they're like, holy shit, who, where's this even coming from? And they might have downloaded your book four months ago and they don't even freaking remember. So they, un they, they go to unsubscribe and then when they unsubscribe, they'll see the subscription and they'll be like, oh, okay, shit, that's what it was. I downloaded the book. You know, so thank you for downloading and then the title of the book. Uh, book, you said. The title of the book. Thank you for downloading. Oh. Perfect. 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 Okay. So edit. Okay. So now that first email that went out with, with the link for my PDF, that email should be here. So I run everything out of the sequence. Now you might've set it up through the form and that's fine. Start tutorial. You might've set it up in the form section, my forms to the left. You might've set it, set it up there, which we'll check, but future you want everything running out of the sequence okay. so so email number one would have been the one that went out immediately with the link to download my pdf that would be email number one do i need to have any videos on don't email show no? don't show again don't show again let's get out of here real quick don't show again <clears throat> let's get started yes i mean you would this is yeah dude this is the wrong this is this is all screwed up right here bro so that's what i'm saying don't rush to run the ad bro we all we all need an appointment okay but, okay okay well okay okay we gotta no, just no. slow down all right, because bro. all this shit right here is not correct at all none of this shit so mm. so here's what we got to do we got to delete all this so let's delete all of it just hit the three dots on everything hit wherever you see three dots delete it so right here one day Three dots. Oh, right no, 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 no. Not over there. Not over. Not over there. What is that? Not over there. Everything in the in the email. So, right there where it says one day, zero hours, wait, immediately after split, true. Oh, okay. All that right shit. Here. Delete. Delete all of it. Three dots. Delete. Yeah, so let's just get rid of all of this and we're gonna just start, we're gonna just start fresh. So that first email that went out, it must be coming from your um from your form, which is fine. So so it can come from your form. Okay, perfect. So now starting rules right at the top, hover over the green and click edit. Okay, the starting rule is going to be the form. Anyone who fills out the form, lead subscribes to list. Let's, let's not do the list. We'll do the form. So the form, hit the drop down, find that form. Five tips for restaurants. Okay, perfect. So that's the form. Add that and then get rid of the list. So click on list and just X out a list. Click on that one and then just get rid of it. X it out. Right here? No, no, no. The X down. Down. Oh, okay. Okay, so save. Okay, perfect. So again, okay, now let me show you this real quick. Let's let's hit done and exit to the right, done and exit. And let's just double check. Let me just confirm what I already think I know. My forms, click on my forms to the left. Edit, click the three dots. Okay, save and next. There's two areas where you can send out that first email, right? They go to the landing page, they opt in, save and next. They receive an email right away. So you have it sending through here. Option one is to send that first immediate, e immediate email, which is, which is AKA a welcome message. Option number one is to do it through the form. When they fill out that form, they get that email right away. But I don't do it here. Now you already have it set up and that's fine. But future for any landing page, for any opt-in form, I would just have everything. I would put no. So I would have it no, don't go out through here. And I would just set it up in the sequence. So email number one in the sequence would be this email. 
Email number two okay. in the sequence would go out tomorrow. Email number three in the sequence will go out the following day. You know right. what I mean? So, yes, yes, yes. So we so, can change so, that or? I mean, you already have I? it here. You already have it here. Okay. So just leave it. That's fine. But click on All change. Right. Let's look at the email. Because as I got that email a few minutes ago, it, it's not, I mean, you want to, let's tighten it up. So for okay, example, okay. regards, let's put your name. You know what I mean? Put your freaking name, put your social media icons. Like that shit right there is just too plain. It's too plain of an email. So what I would do, let's copy it, copy the whole thing, copy the whole thing, cut, right click and just cut, cut or yeah, cut it or copy it, either one. Okay. No, I, I did it. It's, copy it. CTR, yes. Oh, okay. So delete it. Go ahead and delete it. Uh-huh. And then go to advanced. Always work out of advanced. So right at the top, advanced. And always use your same template because you want to start building the consistency of your brand. So click on design templates. And then let's click on my fa my templates right there, the heart. And do you have anything saved? Do you have any template? So delete whatever you're not going to use in here. But um, let's see if you have one. You might not have one and that's fine. We'll just create start to create one so what is this that's one that you saved or we saved before but um whatever it is so do you want to use that one uh, i don't know let's use so what i do is i create the same i use the same template so that's why if you notice my emails what 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 is what stays consistent in my emails is either my image or my social media icons at the bottom because I'll always change the text. Every email has different texts, but you want to start some type of consistency, whether it's the color of your buttons, whether it's the, the, the image, you know, maybe you switch out the image, but it's still an image, you know, like. I haven't my, changed this image. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I know so, so click on it, drag it over, drop it, drop your block. Now delete it to the left. We'll resave it. Delete it to the left. No, 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 no. To the left, to the left. Ah, uh -huh. damn it. Go click no. on my templates to the, the heart. You. Delete this one. Hit the X. Okay. And then you save that one too. Delete that one to the left. You want to clear this shit out. Like you want that stuff to be, you know, not cluttered up. We only want to save the one that we want to save. So, okay. So, so for example, with this, scroll down. So see right here at the bottom, clean that shit up. 2018. You know, change that to 29, 2021 and, and put your company name right there. Hook up those social media icons. You know, if, if that's the image you want at the bottom, okay, cool. Then then rock with that image. That should be the same image in the next 17 emails that I get. You know what I mean? Like keep it consistent. Use the same template over and over. Now, of course, you can always update it. Of course, you can always change it, of course. But to get in the good habit, consistency in your brand is going to matter. You know, um, and that starts with colors. It starts with templates. Can I add my logo here, RM? Yeah, dude, you can. Yeah, for sure. You can just add add image. So to the left, to the left, look for image. Wait. Scroll down and just look for image. There's image, and then and then, you know, you can drag that over. And then can the I, pink can one. It's the pink it? one. You can't you can't resize it. That's why your your logo might be too damn big. Um, but here's what I would do. Like I mean, small. Yeah, it might be it might be too big. So go ahead and click the pencil. Click the. Um, I don't know if you can grab that smaller one because it's three. You might be able to delete it. Yeah, try it. That's why it just comes down to playing around with it, man. Like test everything, bro. Like try everything. Like you know, see what works for you. But but um, whatever works, whatever it is, you know, end up save save that and then use that template over and over. So click on that. Let's see that, and then maybe delete a couple of them and see if you can, you know, end up with just the middle one. X no X. But see that might be that might be too small as well, you know. So. Um, I'll add a layer on maybe. Huh? What's that? Should I do it later? Yeah, you can. You can always play around with this later. But um, Actually, so like X out of that, or maybe just one logo here. Yeah, that be that could be that could be good. 
So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks a lot better than yeah. a big ass one. That better, looks much yeah. better, much much better than than that big one. Okay, so then um, so. Oh, I see. Uh, now I we need to do this again. Uh, click here and schedule time and all that. No, right. so just hit the pencil, hit the pencil, the pink one, and just paste in what you what you copied. So delete all this, delete all of it, and that's that's why. So delete all of it, and then oh, um, nice. and then just paste. So there, there's the first email, you know, so, but what you'll want to do is, is I use their name all the time. So right there to the left, yeah. dynamic variables, dynamic variables, hit the drop down dynamic variables. No, to the right, right there up dynamic variables. So their first name right there, copy that, paste it. Don't just say hi. You know what I mean? Put hi, John. You know what I mean? So use their freaking, use the variable and, and just copy that over and just put, you know, put paste it at the top you go to the top you know put that cursor you know somewhere at the wait, 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 wait. How to do that so just hit the pencil the pink one okay so now you're in it so just put the cursor above you know to the left of thank you you know thank you put it right there thank you hit enter hit enter a couple times and then just go back up and then paste it in and then comma put a comma Right there. So, so in the front, you know, hello, Jack, or hi, Jack, or, you know, whatever. Hey, Jack, or, you know, but I use their name. I, I use their name all the time. Use their name in the email. Use the first name in the subject line. Jack, here's your first five, or here's your five tips on how to use Facebook to get more customers. You know what I mean? But the subject line, you don't want it to be too long. Um, and that's fine. So sometimes you could put the name in the subject line. Sometimes you'll just put it down here. Hi. Hey, Jack. You know, so Should thank I you. Have my What's that? Should I have my calendar here as well? Um, no, no. The first email is not. It's not. It's not getting them to schedule a call. No, it's from. Oh. It's from the second email and on. The first email is just hello. Thank you so much for downloading. Here's the link to download. And what I would also do in this email is I would let them know. I'd say, hey, I have. I have some great emails coming your way. I'm going to be educating you on what's in the book. I'm going to be giving you different strategies and tips that I give my clients. So make sure you open every email as as I send them to you over the next few weeks, I would write that in the email, let them know, prepare. Okay. You should have said that in the video, but also let's mention it again in the email, you know, and then, and then let them know, say, Hey, and by the way, if you're on social media, feel free to click any of the links below and connect with me there. I'd love to, you know, stay in touch with you and help you any way I can get personal, bro. Let these people know that you're a fucking real person. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You're like, right. like, um, because sometimes when it's just that plain, they're like, dude, who the hell is this shit? Like regards, like regards from who? Like, right. So, so put your information in there um, and, and just keep it real. So I put address. Yes. Your what? Uh, the address. No, location. no, you don't okay. need that because that's, okay. that's at the very bottom. They, I actually see that you don't see it on your end, but as Kartra sends out those emails, mm -hmm. your address is already at the bottom. And that's not a Kartra thing. That's actually a, 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 an email. It's called can span. I think the whole email policy, the federal law, there's like an email freaking guideline or whatever, but that's per the email company, the email, per, the email freaking law or whatever the hell it is where your, your address has to be on the email. And so by default, it's already there. Yeah. Like, let me, um, let me pull it up. Like, so the first email that I got, it shows at the very, very bottom, it shows Royal what Media, 119 Main Street, 1J, Ridgefield Park, New Jersey, 076, right? So it already says it at yeah. the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. So that's fine right there. Yeah, so, so, so before I, I'm sorry, uh, did you, you received the email, so did you go all the way to the thank you page? No, no, you're, you're the one that went to the thank you page. You're the one that um, put in my email. Put in my information. What do you uh, mean? Yes, but I'm thinking like I I wanted you to check that thank you video. Like maybe I should I should do something else. I'm not sure. No, let, I... yeah, we could play it. It's right at the top. The thank you. But let's get out of here real quick. So okay. so again, what you're gonna want to do is come back in here, 
and you're going to want to set up those, those social media icons at the bottom. So go to the bottom. You're going to want to set up those, link all those social media icons, just hover over it, and then just put the Facebook link in there. So no, 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 bro. It's edit. So hover over it, edit. Yeah, right there, the pink one. Okay. I and see. then the, the link goes right there, the URL. All right. Once okay. you set up no, all no. the links, then save as template. Okay. Hook it up first, make it look nice, like set up all your shit right, and then save as template because that's the final copy. So now you'll just use that template over and over and over because, again, the whole point of this was to was to really stress the fact or stress the point that this is where your, your, your appointments are going to be coming from. Your appointments are going to be coming from the emails that you consistently send your leads. And then you ask nice. about video, right? Video, yeah. I would put video from email number two and on. I would put video in every one of them. But again, if you're in a rush to run ads and just get it launched, then you'll work. I'm on not, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not doing right but, because I'm going to get uh, yeah. this way, what I'm doing right now to get another two, three, five clients. And yeah. I want to get this correctly. But the reason why I'm rushing is just because I know I'm kind of behind. And then you, uh, last time when we said, look, I'm behind too, I'm slow kind of as well. I'm like, okay, maybe I need to rush a little bit. And, yeah, uh, no, no, it's all good, man. So, so you just want to get this back end part really tight. Like, so, so, You'll want to set up a few emails and we'll go back to the sequence. Um, but then also, so yeah, yeah, I'll talk about the video here shortly. But yeah, let's get out of here. So let's so so hey Jack, thank you so much for downloading my ebook. Um, click here to download your PDF. So is that that's the right file, right? Click here to download. Yes, you know yes, what? Yes. Let, let's let's do this too. Let's let let's do this. Let's add a button just for the hell of it. So to the left, dynamic variables, minimize that. Yeah, click and then let's go back down to design templates. Scroll down, look for button right there, grab a button, and we'll just pull in for the hell of it just so you know how to do this. Yep. Grab I a button. So all these different ones, man, footers, like click on footers. There's all oh. these different footers that you can put at the bottom of the email, but you already have one based on this template, but you can always put a different one, you know, so play around with this shit, bro. Um, and so go back, hit footers to the top. Let's go to the, to the, um, to the buttons. So scroll up. Up, 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 up. I think it's up. Buttons right there. So click on the top one, drag it over, put it above the logo. Drop it right there above the logo. Perfect, right there. So what I do too is I'll put here, click here to download your free PDF. So rather than the link above, you know, I would just put it a button. It makes, it makes it look a little better. And then I would make that button match the color of my red background logo. You know what I mean? Little shit like that, bro. Little shit like that. You'll learn all this shit eventually, but... It's the, it's the little details that people start to yes. notice in your brand, you know? Absolutely. So All I right. would change that, hit the pink pencil, change that out, change the text, change the color, and then you would add the link, the URL link for your PDF. So right when they click on it, boom, it takes them, it takes them straight to that download, you know? Okay, 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 I'll work on that. Okay, so work on that, work on that for sure. And then, so let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And then let's go back to the sequence real quick. And How then, do I save? The, uh, should I just save? Go to the, the top. Template? No, no, no. Go to the top. You always have to hit that save that green button. Okay, okay. Yeah. So hit that. So so your first email immediately goes out through the form. Now we know. So save and next. Let's get out of here. Save and next. Save and next. Save and next. So they're subscribed to that list. Restaurant. See. So here's the deal. You have them going to restaurant leads. That's the list. Now here's what you always want to do. This is so important. You want to keep the same name for your pages. You want to keep the same name for your list and your sequences. So if the name of the list is restaurant leads, that should also be the name of the sequence. And we named it something different. So save and next, save and next, save and next. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to save and next. Click on my communications to the left. And then let's go back to sequences. So hover over communication sequence. See, so if, if the name of the list is restaurant leads, the name of the sequence should also be restaurant leads. Because if you name it something different, you might know, you're, you're going to still know what the hell that is. But, but at the same time, to the human eye, you want to just be able to glance at it and know exactly, you know, it, so if you keep everything named the same, it, it makes it a lot easier. Restaurant, restaurant leads. And then, and then the pages, you know, the, the landing page, the thank you page, 
yeah, we'll want to name those as well. So start and roll, boom. Anyone who fills out that form and then the form, the form. So let's click on that, edit, edit. So the name of the form, no, edit. So the name of the form is five, five tips for the restaurants. See, so now we're already inconsistent with our naming. So what we're going to want to do is go back, go, no, no, not right now, but we'll want to go back and rename that form. That, that form should not be titled five tips for the restaurants. That form should be named restaurant leads. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's keep everything named the same, the form, the list, the sequence, the pages, everything's named the same. Um, now, not, not just restaurant leads. We're going to put restaurant leads often page, restaurant leads thank you page, restaurant leads form, restaurant leads list, restaurant leads sequence. So we'll, we'll name it obviously what it is, but it starts with restaurant leads. That's the name of the campaign. And also in the pages, the category, the category should be restaurant leads because that's the name of the entire campaign, restaurant leads, unless you name it something different. But my point is just keep everything name the same yes, to make it easier for you. In the future, as you work on other projects, it's going to make it easier that you have everything, you know, name consistently the same. So, cool. so save this. This is we'll leave this here for now. Save, and then and then this is where your next few emails, you know. So let let's do this. So let me just show you how to do this real quick. Send email to the top left. Click and drag it and drop it right below. So all you're going to do is start lining it up. That's all you're going to do. Drop it. Everything goes under. So right here, wait, 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 wait. Don't don't click. Let me let me walk you through this because you're gonna click too too fast. This right here is the second email because you already have that first one going out to the welcome message to the form. So this one is not gonna go out right after previous step because that person's gonna get two emails right away. So you're gonna wait a number of days. So in this case, you're gonna wait one day. So wait. So the moment they fill out the form, this one's going to go out the following day. So click on that, wait a number of days, and then just choose one day. This is email number two. So that's the reason why I have everything here, because now as you come in here and you look at this first one, you're going to think it's the first email. Yeah, yeah. to be honest, man, I, I like, I, like car tries for me like space shuttle. Yeah, yeah, you'll learn it. You'll learn it. You just gotta. That's why you gotta just get on these training calls, man. You gotta get on these training calls. That's what time, I started to be. Like, yes, yeah, yes. I, get on, every I, Tuesday, I, Thursday, four p.m. Eastern. Just jump on them, bro. You're gonna learn a shitload. You're gonna learn shit that you don't even. You're not even thinking of. Nice. You know. So, so hit next. Hit next. Let's go through this real quick. Leave this the same. Next communication. This is the name of the broadcast, the communication. But I also name this the same of the first email. So the subject line of my first email, I name it here as well. So whatever that subject line is going to be. Welcome right there. No, that's not, this is not a welcome email. This is email number two. Oh, this, okay, is, okay, this okay. is when we're already talking about scheduling an appointment. This is when we're already talking about the book that they just downloaded, you know? So they downloaded the book yesterday. They got the welcome message yesterday. This is the next email. Mm -hmm. okay. So whatever, that's why, yeah, man, you got to set up a few of these first before you start running ads. Yes. Okay. 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 They'll, you they'll, know, they'll, so, they'll. so, so whatever the title, just name it email number two, just email number two. You come back, change it later. Email number two, email two, next gateway. This right here, that's the email it's coming from info at royalmedia2020.com. So that's fine. Next, recipient is going to be anyone reaching this step. So just hit the drop down. Anyone reaching this step, we set the start and rule. The start and rule is already in place. Anyone who filled out the form, they get these emails. So here, are the recipient, anyone reaching this step. Next, hit next, and then the split test, single email, and then next. Okay, so now we go into the actual email. So that's why the template is so important. It's going to save me a lot of time. So click on advanced. If you saved that template, you would simply just click on advanced. You'd click on design templates. You click on the, the heart and your template would be right there. You click it, you drag it over and then just, just retype something different. But at least you have the image below. At least you have the social media icons below, right? So it saves you some time, but you didn't say that template yet in the welcome email, right? 
So so go right. back Can't to the welcome. Yeah, there, you didn't save it, so there's no there's no template there. But Karcher has a bunch of full, like yeah. If you click on full templates, there's a shitload of other ones, but I don't want you to use any of those. You already oh. have one going. You just gotta save it. So so um no, bro, what'd you do? I am freaking out, man. I think. Bro, yeah, you gotta um yeah, don't click on anything until I help you until I walk you through it. But um. You have to start it all over. Let's just um, grab anything, full templates. Just click, drag it over. Just dra anything, that top one. Drag it over, drop it. Okay, now put a subject line. Put email number two in the subject line. So again, the subject line and the communications, I name the same. So email number two. You'll come back in here and edit it later. Email number two, that's it. Hit next. Okay, so you're done. So right here, it's going to take us to the end. We don't need any automation, hit create. Now, as you come back to the dashboard over here, it's gonna be inactive. Click on the three dots and activate. Now connect the, the half moon to the other one. Yep, click it, drag it down. And then at the very, very top, you'll hit arrange. Very, very top, top row, top, go to the top. Right there to the left, to the left. Right there, arrange, right there. Click on that one and it lines everything up. So now you'll just do the same thing to the top left, send email, drag it below, and that's email number three. Don't do it now. Don't do it now because that's you, you, this is something yeah. you'll do later. So oh, okay. hit cancel. Cancel. Okay, so, so that's Great. right here, bro, is where your money's at. It's in the email follow-up. Now, some people only put four emails, and, and that's it. I put freaking 44. Now, okay, okay. Tell me what I need to do and how many. You don't need 44 right now, but I'm just saying, like, you want to put a shitload because I want to continue to email that lead. Like, I'm going to continue to email you until you freaking schedule an appointment or unsubscribe or freaking die. And like, what do I should like should, when I record the video? I said I should put video in every email. You should. That's just if you want. That's just me. Like, that's just how I do and it. Like, what do I tell them? Like uh, uh, tips or, or yes, whatever. Yes, bro. Just you're, to you're, remind them. Here, here's where here's where this email becomes becomes easy to tell you the truth because the way you want to set up the emails again, it's all about it's all about the objective. The objective is to get them to schedule the call. So, but it all started from the ebook. It all started from downloading the ebook, right? So these emails email number two and on should simply refer back to the ebook. Tell me, oh, okay. tell can me. I show some, can I click done and exit? And just yeah, show done you something. Exit. The yeah, done and exit. And so in the emails, I'm simply talking about the ebook. You know, I'm breaking down different parts of the ebook. So email number two, I'm talking about, you know, page one. Email number three, I'm talking about page two. You know what I mean? So I'm just okay. breaking down different parts. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Thank you so much for downloading my ebook a few days ago. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about getting more engagement? Here's what I meant. In fact, John, I actually recorded a two-minute video. Click here and watch what I got to say regarding getting more engagement. So I would just simply, in my emails, I would just break down every part of this damn ebook and talk about it, but do it in a one-minute video. And then, and then now... The videos go back to Kartra. Now, as I as I as I as I get email number two, it's going to be a brief couple sentences. Hey, John, thank you so much for 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 downloading my my ebook yesterday. Hey, today I just wanted to say hello and follow up and really touch on what I meant on page one when it came down to explosive start, an explosive start. Click here to watch what I got to say regarding explosive start. They click, go back to Carter, bro. They okay. click, they click in that email, email number two, and it takes them, click on my pages to the left. It takes them to a page just like right there what I have. So click on 2021, step three of five. Click on three of five, click on three of five to the left. Oh. So open that up. Yeah, get the link. Let's open it up, actually. Get, get the link. X out. Get the link. Get coder link. Uh, no, 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 bro. Let's open that up. So in my emails, that's a perfect example. I sent you my entire funnel. So 
in email number three, I'm simply sending them, I'm, that's the email. I'm writing a couple sentences in the text in the email, and then I'm having them click to watch my video. They're clicking here. And if you notice in the top right, I have my Facebook pixel tracking them. So my Facebook yep. pixel is tracking you. They know you landed here. That's my now new custom audience. So now in Facebook, I can start running ads to everyone who landed here, right? But nice. what I'm doing here is I'm explaining what's in the damn ebook. I'm explaining what's on page one. I'm explaining freaking paragraph one, explosive start. And then in the video, so here's what you want to do. In the video, you're saying, hey, welcome back. Thank you so much. This is email number two. This is going to be a great series that I have coming your way. So make sure, again, you check every email that I got coming because you're not going to want to miss anything, right? So I'm just telling them, telling, telling something like that brief in the, in the video, in the intro. And then what I'm also doing is I'm explaining what's in the ebook. Everything's about the ebook. I'm not trying to teach them anything else that's not in the ebook. Everything evolves around this ebook, what they downloaded. So okay. keep these videos on that subject, what's in the ebook, right? And then okay. also at the end of the video, this, could, this doesn't have to be a long video. I tend to talk a lot. So this, these are long videos for, for me in my case, but yours doesn't have to be long videos at all. But at the end of the video, at the end of the video, there's always a call to action. At the end of the video, hey guys, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a free strategy call where I give you all of my tips and tricks, Click the button below, scroll down, click the button below, and it'll take you straight to my calendar. I can't wait to talk to you. And also, again, don't forget, I have another email coming your way tomorrow. That email is going to cover this, this, and this, and this. Don't miss out. Right? So, so that's okay, the yeah. videos. So if, if email number two, I click, you co I come here. Email number three, I click, I come to a page. Email number four, and I keep the whole magic in this. The reason why I do it is because I'm getting you indoctrinated in seeing my freaking face. Yep. Man. You keep seeing me on video, right? Okay, I'll, yes, yes, yes. And there's I'll magic for, in that. So I'll work for the next five, six days. So it doesn't matter like how long it takes. But before I let you go, I have questions. But, but, but here's another thing real quick. Don't. You don't have to. You don't have to set up ten emails right now. Set up a few. Just set up a few, and then we can launch the ad. Okay. Just great. set up a few. Maybe set up the first three. Set up the first three, and then let's let's run the ad. Okay. So before I start, I just need to show you to show me to upload the, that. Yes. It, go back to Karcher. And then I'll, I want to ask you about uh, something about Facebook page. Uh, Where on Karcher? Right yeah. here. So right here to the left, my memberships to the left. Okay. And then right here, so so right at the top, no, 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 no. At the top, click on files. It's right there, bro. Is that the old one or is that a new one or is that the- That's the old one. That's okay, the old so one X I out, want. X out. Let's X out of this. Right and here? Then, no, that's yeah, delete. Yeah, no, 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 no. The red X to the right. Delete it. Right here? Yep, delete it. Now let's add the new one. So go ahead and hit the green one. Upload. upload file and then just grab grab it and then just bring it over oh, no that's it next. next yeah next okay so now what you'll want to do is we'll want to um so now it's right there so click on the link get url get the the link right there yep no down you were just on it to the the little link right there yeah right there the chain get url copy this this needs to be now on the thank you page because that's where you have the download button copy that so it now has to be on the thank you page and it also has to be linked in the email, which is in my forms. Okay, so yeah, click right there, edit. And let's um, let's change out this. So now all we're gonna do is hover over that green button, edit, and then just add the link right there. So edit. And then click on link at the top. And then just, um, okay, so it's not down, it, it's, um, well, actually, I guess we can go download a file. Yeah, so scroll down. Yeah, let's just go download a file. That's perfect. So scroll down and then just just write their category. There's no category, no category in particular. And then down and then look for that file. Perfect. Hit that file and then just hit the drop down right there, five tips. Perfect. And then apply. 
Okay, cool. So save and next top right actions. Um, actually not save and next, sorry. Save public, save progress and then publish live. And then, and then you're good. And then it's always good to test it too, but you're good. I will do, yes, I will do that. If, uh, I just have a quick question for the page. H hover yeah. over, hover over the pink, the, the button schedule. Hover over that real quick. X out of this real quick. Yeah, X out. Hover over the button. Let me check the calendar real quick. Edit. And then um, link. Okay, so cart your calendar, scroll down. Use the other one. Use the overlay pop-up. That one's better. Use the overlay pop-up. Okay, apply. Okay, now save progress and then publish live. Okay, okay. So I'll just go on the business page and then I know we are. So publish live. But then also that link, that link, you want to copy it because it has to be in that welcome email. So close this out. Actions, return okay. to dashboard, return to dashboard, hit the actions. Do, return I, to do I need to, do I need to upload this link on the landing page? No, no just on, okay, okay. Thank you page and email. You're right. Yeah, exit. Now go to the thank you page at the top, the tab that's already open. The thank you tab at the very top of your screen, the tabs, you got all these tabs open. Go to the thank you one. Right yeah, here. yeah. Refresh this page. Now click on the buttons. So you click. Now it downloads that file. But see, you put the wrong one, bro. You put the wrong one. You downloaded the freaking Word document. It's not the okay, Word document. Okay, I'll, I'll put that. I yeah, know so put, put the right one. So X out of this. Click on the, um, click on, um, the pink one, the schedule. This is the overlay. So there's your calendar. Okay, so, so what you'll want to do is um, go back to Kartra. And then um, my memberships to the left, my memberships, and just delete that file. Delete that, click on files at the top, and just delete that one and, and put up the PDF. Yeah, you don't want the Word document up there. So delete. Yeah. And then again, once you upload the PDF, get the URL and go into my forms to the left and update that email. Update okay. that email, the, the button, that green button. Click here to download your free ebook, right? Like update that button with the new link. <clears throat> okay, okay. okay. So, so let me tell you. Anything else on the cartridge side? Uh, not mm -hmm. for now. I'll work on it. I'll study again and then I'll probably schedule one more call with you. With no, for sure. Reason. Anytime. But just always make sure that those, those emails, the sequence, yes, bro. Video is, is powerful because that's where your appointments are coming from. That's what I need to study like very well about sequences. It's so confusing for me. Uh, but